gonna miss us, Andre. I am gonna miss you guys. I mean, one of the things I really want to talk about. Some of that, like, I say whatever you want. I think I answered the question. But, uh, say whatever you want. One of the things I really wanted to talk about is uh, where I started from and where I am today and what it really meant to be empowered, uh, especially by this company here. Uh, you guys really, really did help me out a lot. Um, getting out of, when I was, before joining the military, uh, I was this outgoing person. I like to have fun, go into a room, make everybody laugh, uh, be creative, be outspoken, just be me. When I got into the military, it was more, especially infantry, they just kind of like shut all that down. You know, like you can't be taken seriously. You can't be emotional. You can't, you know, joke around. It's not really a good thing to be expressive. And uh, so having had known that and being drilled in my head that had been broken down, then, you know, that became me. So I became that uh, closed in person and, and just really, really focused on the mission and, you know, want to be able to be taken seriously, especially against the people that I was in platoon with. And then after that, so the only time I really would get expressive is when I drank. So when I drank, I was this outgoing person. I was happy. I was going to the clubs. I was dancing. I was writing. Um, but it also I was doing a lot of other stupid stuff and made a lot of other stupid mistakes within that process. And one of those mistakes was the drinking and driving um, and getting two DUIs. So that really, really messed up my childhood dreams of uh, doing 20 years in the military, uh, getting out and then going to the police force and doing 20 years in that and having double retirement. Uh, it really, really, and then also e even to getting jobs because uh, not having a license or stuff I was well qualified for, uh, I was not able to do. So I had to get these little mediocre jobs paying $10 or so an hour and still having to take care of my family and everything else. So I did end up getting hired with a concierge company you know, I was with them for two years, and I put in a lot of work with them, you know. I also had problems with sleeping, you know. Sleep issues end up coming late. So it's no matter how good I did and no matter how much compliments I get and how much people really, really adored me being there, uh, because being late is jeopardizing their contract. They ultimately end up letting me go. So that was, you know, that was heartbreaking there. And I was like, hey, you know, I finally got a job where I'm not hopping from job to job anymore. And, uh, you know, just like that, after two years of putting in hard work, it's like, see ya, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was flags of violence, and it was like, you know, you guys came, and it was two weeks later, two weeks after I got fired from that job, I ended up firing flags of valor and came in for my interview. They uh, talked to them about what was going on with my health issues and stuff like that, and one of the things that I uh, really admired was, hey, you know, all of us here are vets. We understand each other. We understand you got issues. We understand you got problems. As long as you talk to us, you'd be okay. You know? And then that's exactly what I did. You know, I, I talked to you guys, let you know what's going on, just being up front. I, I don't like to be vulnerable. I feel like, and especially being in the military, you learn that you don't want to allow yourself to be vulnerable. You don't talk about yourself. You don't talk about your weakness because the enemy will use that against you. So having had, had that mindset for so long, I mean, to get involved with a company where, hey, you can be yourself. You know, and it was embraced. You know, I came here, I was happy. Anytime I was happy, outgoing, me being creative and me and being expressive was embraced. And it really, really contributed to the continuation of my sobriety. So I've been sober now for uh, almost seven years. Almost seven years. I'm 29 years old. You know, really, really young to start off not drinking anymore. And um, so to speak on the empowerment part, I think in order to really truly empower somebody is to give them the right tools. So I had all the right tools here. I express myself through my art, uh, express myself with through you know uh, hearing from other people, get, you know that, that talk about the flags that they receive. We have discussions and we just go into a whole different you know world, just talking about how much these flags really mean to them. It really means a lot to me.